to the left, to the right. The pendulum sways, pivoting under the weight of animosity. And when it swings our way, yay, we celebrate with our team. But I'm starting to think it's just camouflage, and the pendulum is actually just a facade for a guillotine. And I wonder if it's going to stop in time, or if we even want it to. Are we really getting anywhere, or is this an endless tug of war? So entrenched that we'd rather sit here forever and die in the mud than go have dinner together. Some people want guns, some people want guns banned. But neither of these things is going to stop the killing. So maybe the real question is why we want to shoot each other. Some people want a wall. Some people want open borders. But we've already put up walls. When was the last time you opened a border to a foreigner that didn't already live in your worldview? Some people believe only what they see. Some people see only what they believe. Are we trying to know something, or are we trying to become something? Some people want choice. Some people want life. I think God is wondering why there were unwanted pregnancies in the first place. Unwilling participators in creation, the most divine thing we could ever do as humans, and we're like, nah. And he's probably like, all this arguing over healthcare, the sicknesses I really want you to cure aren't even covered by insurance, and the prescription has already been written. You just have to go pick it up. And why do you want to feel like you're a winner every four years when you could win eternity? So worried about the length of the grass at a preseason baseball game that you forgot about the World Series. And when was the last time one of your messiahs actually fulfilled your desires when you gave them your votes, your faith? Why do you paint yourselves into a ballot box when I gave you a sky? Why are you sitting in gridlock when I gave you a runway, shouting at each other from two ends of a straight line, wondering why the other can't see your points? It's because life is not one-dimensional. And honestly, you were meant for much more meaningful geometry, like triangles. We can mill around on the bottom, preoccupied with all the problems, stupefied by the minutia, turning back whenever we encounter a new angle. But we can turn the corner upward to the angels, and not only ascending but coming closer together, pouring our collective inventory onto a terrestrial table of truths, forming a blueprint for celestial glory. Keeping truth from our sharp edges, and what we really find in the climb is the perspective that there are three sides to every story.